To kill or not to kill? That's the emotive question sparked by a controversial plan to cull our sharks. It follows a spate of fatal attacks around the Australian coastline. But as you're about to see, opinion is well and truly divided. That's always in the back of your mind. That's always in my mind when I'm out there anyway. It's their home. Is he scared when you get out there? Nah. And we just love playing in it. But the threat is real, as is the fight that's brewing on what to do about it. We need to give them the respect that they deserve, or we're in big trouble. You know, they're just getting close and close to the shore. In November, 19-year-old bodyboarder Zach Young died after being attacked by a shark on the New South Wales mid-north coast. In the same week, Chris Boyd was surfing south of Perth when he was killed. These animals are following the humpbacks, they're feeding on the humpbacks. So certainly this is probably one of the reasons we're seeing more larger sharks. The debate over how to prevent attacks this summer is well and truly raging. Tomorrow, a nationwide protest will be held over a plan to cull sharks in Western Australia. Now, while that is one option, there's also brand new technology helping to warn beachgoers and protect surfers. These are great white sharks being tagged for monitoring off Western Australia. The state is leading the way in a new era of tracking technology. If this huge shark comes within 700 metres of one of the monitoring stations off popular beaches, an alert is instantly sent to response agencies like lifeguards. But it doesn't stop there. It's also sent directly to the Surf Life Saving WA Twitter feed. We think that it's catching a, uh, um, you know, a large uh, group of people to provide them with information again about making good decisions when they go to the beach. Chris Peck from Surf Life Saving WA says the government is looking to expand the program and put monitors off more beaches. I think it's a system that could be adopted, uh, you know, worldwide. So we'll all be checking our phones when we hit the beach. Yeah, check shark. your phone. Oh, look, oh no, there was a shark 15 minutes ago. Let's wait an hour and have something to eat. While it may look cruel, the alternative is far worse for these predators. The WA government has announced a plan to set up baited drum lines close to shore and kill any shark over three metres in these so-called kill zones. If a loved one was on life support system you would do nothing to tamper with that. The great white shark maintains the balance in our ocean. Jeff Hansen from Sea Shepherd is furious and will be taking part in the nationwide anti-culling protest tomorrow. Sea Shepherd will be looking at every means possible within the law to stop this from going ahead. While attacks are most common in Western Australia, there's a huge population of great white sharks off South Australia. This encounter while cage diving off Port Lincoln. Would you agree with shark culling? Uh, yes and no. In some areas where they are, heaps of them, yeah. This isn't the best practice and we shouldn't be going down this path. Trevor Long is the Director of Marine Sciences at SeaWorld. He applauds new research, but says attacks aren't common enough to warrant a cull. You've got far greater chance being hit by a car, you know, falling off your push bike, falling out of bed than being taken by a shark. We've got to understand, we've got to try and keep that in perspective. Aside from tagging and culling, WA company Shark Shield has just been given a government grant to test surfboard fins with an electronic shark deterrent. It sends out an electronic pulse that interferes with the shark's sensors. Another concept is using air bubble curtains off beaches. Research shows the bubbles can frighten sharks away. There's also beach mufflers. Sharks have heightened senses and are attracted to noise and movement in the water, so blocking beach noise would effectively block the shark. There's still a long way to go. So you're pretty confident that they'll spot something before it gets to you? You hope so, eh? But that's how you're meant to go down, that's how you're meant to go down. It is a pretty horrible way to go, though, and rallies against that shark colour being held at beaches around the country tomorrow. We'd like to know what you think. Let us know on Facebook or Twitter.